Hi guys, so welcome to another plan with me video. If you guys need some planning inspiration to plan for a productive week this week, or if you wanna know how I use the capture category plan planner to plan using the peaceful homekeeping strategy, then this is a video that you're gonna wanna stay tuned to. Go ahead and put this video on pause and go print your capture category plan planner and we can plan together. I'm working on this and I hope to post this on Sunday so this will give you plenty of time to get your thoughts ready so that we can have a successful week. So um, in the description box of this video I do plan to leave a link to the capture category plan planner. It is free. You can print yours in black and white or color or whatever and then I like to put mine inside of a binder so you can do like the traditional three ring binder if you want to for me I've been enjoying using these little disc bound planners um, I just find them to be very versatile and I like the look a little bit so I have my little um, what is this like 11 12 ring whatever I have a hole punch design for these little disc bound planners. So if you have a happy planner, you can actually print this and put this inside of a planner that you're already using. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. So um, so yeah, so let's do this together if you guys want to plan together using your planner. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert mine. Um, so I have some notes for the video here that I'm gonna keep off the side, keep off to the side. I hoped that by getting my thoughts organized in advance, it would make this video go by smoother. So yeah, so you guys know that last week, I kinda had a little bit of an off week. I said I needed like self-care week. And so um, I'm feeling very motivated now to, I feel energized, I feel refreshed, I feel ready to jump back in. And so I feel very motivated now to just get organized so that I know that this week will go the direction that I wanna go. So um, for those of you who are new, hi, my name is Lede, welcome to the channel. On this channel, I just like to share what I've been learning as a wife, a mom of four, and now a full-time work from home employee. And so that's what I share on this channel, is things that are working for me, and this is the planning system that I have that works well for me. So um, here, this is just like some brain dump space. You guys know that I do not believe in like really long, overwhelming to-do lists. I like to break things up into categories and then I focus on the appropriate category at the right time to avoid overwhelm. So this is some space to do that. Um, it's, I like to do this at the beginning of the month. You know, like for example, next month is coming and we need to start thinking about Thanksgiving and Christmas. So if you have anything that you wanna think about, ahead of time, then this is a great place to brain dump it. So throughout the month, you can just refer back to see if you're working on the things that you wanted to work on. And then this is a monthly spread that I'm not gonna be using today, but I like it because I have the zones here. Let's see if you guys can see that. Yeah, I have the zones here, so you always know what zone we are working in. And now we're moving over to the weekly spread, which is what I'm going to be working on today. So, um, let's see yeah so basically i just like planning like this because i find that if i am conscious of the different types of home management um categories in my life it helps me be more well-rounded instead of just focusing on one but neglecting the others and so um yeah it's a very slow and steady process but um i just like being well-rounded it kind of reminds me of like being in high school in high school you did not stay in math class until you were done with math. No, you did a little bit of math, you did a little bit of English, you did a little bit of science, you did a little bit of history, you rotated different classes, whether you finished with that assignment or not. And then at the end of the day, if you had extra time, then you could go and give a little more attention to one subject or another if you felt like you needed it, but every day you made sure to be well-rounded and to get a little bit of everything. So that's kind of what we're trying to do in this system. So the first thing that I like to focus on is my daily routines. I'm gonna zoom in for you guys a little bit. These are the things that we try to do every day, or at least I try to do every day, rain or sunshine. Just for me, this helps with like daily maintenance cleaning so that I don't have to feel like overwhelmed. You guys know that for the most part, I took off last week. The only thing that I did not 
let go of were these daily maintenance routines. And that is why this week, now that I'm getting back on my system fully, I'm not having to deal with build up. I'm not having to play catch up. It's because I worked on these daily maintenance routines, even though I didn't want to, but I try to stick with these. And for me, especially if you're beginning, I highly recommend using your 15 minute timer. So if you're using my planner, there's a little reminder there. Just do it 15 minutes at a time so that you don't like get overwhelmed and get lost in the weeds. Just work on these tasks. And then after that, do the best you can with everything else with the remaining motivation and energy that you have. So for me, it's the same thing every day. I work on my dishes and I keep my sink shiny. I don't let dishes sit in the sink. I put everything somewhere else, whether on the counter, in a bucket, in the dishwasher, I don't care. Just don't put them in the sink. I work on a load of laundry and I clear off my hotspots, the places where people just drop um, clutter, things that they're not ready to put away. Just think about somebody walking in your house and taking off their backpack. Uh, taking off their bags, dropping the groceries down somewhere that they don't feel like putting away. You know, imagine that counter that you cook on and there's stuff on it, but you don't feel like putting it away. Where do you drop it? Those are your hot spots. Get in the habit of clearing them off every day and every night. If you're new, I highly recommend that you just pick one. I like the dishes. The shiny sink rule is a good one to start with. And then as you feel more and more confident, you can add more. And if you just focus on these three, you can strive to see if you can do it in about 15 to 20 minutes every morning and every night. And that will help you start to manage and prevent like buildup and things like that. So that's a pretty easy one. If you have other things that you want to work on for yourself, I know um, people who are, a lot of this is heavily inspired by the fly lady system. I know that people who are doing the fly lady system, um, y'all's lists can be quite long. I don't believe in long routines, so my my space here is very limited, but feel free to make it work for you if you have other things that you would like to track. You'll notice that I don't have things like wiping the counters and stuff like that, because if you're anything like me, these are gonna serve as gateway habits for you. So if you get them done, it will encourage you to continue to make positive choices. They just open the door to get choices um, for me. Um, it's very hard for me to leave my counter sloppy wet, you know, after I just cleaned all the dishes, I see everything nice and shiny. For me, if my countertops are clear, my dishes are done, I'm not seeing a ton of laundry on the table, it's very hard for me to leave food on the floor. That's just the way that my brain works. And um, so these are gateway habits. So once they're done, I feel motivated to do all the other stuff. And then another piece of that is, like if you leave these tasks behind, they tend to build up and get worse when you come back the next time to revisit it. Whereas like leaving your countertops messy, I'm sorry, I just have to speak for the average people who sometimes have to like run off and do something else. That mess on the counter is not gonna be worse when you come back. It'll be sitting there looking exactly like it was and it will maintain the level of ease that it takes to clean it up. So that's why I don't have it as a priority because you'll, you'll more than likely feel like doing it if you desire to have a clean house if these things are taken care of first. Now let's move into zone cleaning. Um, so we are going to be in zone three next week. So for me, zone three is like my boys' bedroom and bathroom, also some guest rooms. So for next week for zone three, I have some little micro goals that I wanna work on. Usually I do decluttering projects, organizing projects, deep cleaning projects during this time, and I like to think of a few goals. So the first thing is I want to scrub the boys' bathroom. So the main thing that I can think of that really needs that focused attention is the bathtub and maybe the toilet like around the outside especially because I'm pretty good about doing um, like weekly maintenance in there. So the bathtub just kind of gets like a little swish and swipe, but I really would like to go in there and just scrub it out really well. And then I have a guest bedroom that I would like to refresh. Um, I'm just gonna do one. And all I need to do really is go in there and put a fresh set of, sh fresh set of sheets. That's like a little bit of a tongue twister fresh set of sheets and I would like to vacuum it out and wash the blanket um, that's in there. 
So are we gonna do that on one day? Another thing that I need to work on is we have a console table in our upstairs living area. So we just, it used to have our TV sitting on it, but um, not too long ago, we got it mounted onto a wall. So we don't need that console table, but I do wanna clean it because we are preparing to replace it and put something nicer there. Right now it's just like one of those like folded um, picnic tables, if you will, that you can get for inexpensively at uh, Walmart. I used to use that as my sewing table and then I just threw it over there. I don't sew anymore. But now we wanna get something that looks nice now that we have the TV mounted and we wanna make a lot of changes in that room to begin with. But I will go ahead and clear it off and kind of see what we need and what we don't need. And then also, usually I try to just stick to three, but I have one task that I feel like I could kind of throw in here without um, making these projects feel too big. But I, I identified two kind of bigger toys that we need to declutter. We have a basketball hoop that my kids have actually outgrown. And we have like this little easel, kind of like paint easel set, whatever, um, that nobody's really using. So I'm going to declutter those. And I may just drop them off, honestly, at Goodwill and call it a day, so that's good. Weekly home maintenance, I do the same thing every week. Um, and for those of you who follow the Fly Lady system, this is the uh, weekly home blessing. And for me, I just can't do it all in one day, that's exhausting, so I space mine out. And I also do things differently here. I have some other activities that I put on here. So for me, I do, um, a day of vacuuming for 10 minutes. Did I spell that wrong? Is vacuuming with one M or two? I think it's two U's. Okay, whatever. Okay, this is not the spelling channel. This is not ABC channel. Um, <laughs> next, I mop for 10 minutes. So I just do as much as I can for 10 minutes and then I call it a day. If I miss it, or if there's something that I wish I could have gotten more, I will save it for a zone cleaning project. Um, next, I will do horizontal surfaces. Horizontal surfaces just means for me just to go dust any surface in my home that's horizontal. A table, a desk, a console table, um, a counter, whatever. Anything that's horizontal, I will swing through and do that. Vertical for me just means to polish anything that goes up and down. So that can be appliances, that can be um, pictures, that could be mirrors, that could be um, light switches. That's pretty much what we, what I stick to. So anything that goes up and down. And then next I have sheets. I go swap everybody's sheets. My husband does trash, so I don't put that on my list, but if you have to take out like all the little small trash cans around the house, then that's a task that you can put on there. And then for me, I do swish and swipes. Now I know that some of you guys do them daily, I don't weekly is good enough for me so I will go through and clean out all of the sinks and I will go and like just uh, do a quick clean of all of the toilets in the house and that's that okay so next the last pillar and by the way there's this little thing in the corner just to keep you uh, grounded and remembering that our goal is to try to do a little bit of each for me the bottom pillar the daily maintenance is the most important one for me because I really value not having to deal with buildup and then I do the best I can with the other ones like I try to get a little bit in every day but it's not always perfect and that's okay so the next thing is our basic weekly plan so those three pillars that we talked about before that's pretty much all of the cleaning all of the cleaning in your home in my opinion, can be fit into one of those buckets. So cleaning should not be coming over here because we have a category for the, the different types of cleaning of the home. So you just need to figure out which category would be the best category for it to go into. And then this is how you keep up with the cleaning stuff. So if you have like a closet that's getting on your nerves, it's gonna be a zone cleaning project. So your goal is just gonna be to figure out, well, which week is the best, okay? And, um, so yeah, no more cleaning on your to-do list. That's too overwhelming. Um, and we wanna keep our to-do lists nice and clean so that when we look at it, we don't feel overwhelmed. So next, we're going to work on our basic weekly plan. So for me, I do planning 
One thing that I forgot to mention, so I'm gonna mention it here, is whenever you start on this side of the planner, make sure that you put dates on it and you put important appointments. I forgot to put that or to mention that here because you guys know that I keep a, um, a digital format of this stuff so I'm already thinking of the appointments in the back of my head but if you don't have any other planner and this is like your main one then definitely don't forget to add appointments in places that you got to be okay back to the video and desk day on Monday there have been times where I have separated those two out because it felt too heavy like today is actually Sunday and I'm doing my planning now, planning for the week. But there's other planning that I want to be working on, which we'll talk about in a moment. Um, and then for Tuesday, uh, that's kind of like, sometimes I do my anti-procrastination day on Tuesday or Wednesday. So I have some flexibility there. So I'm going to put it on for Tuesday. Anti-procrastination. And then Wednesday, that's a free day for me. Feel free to think of whatever theme that you need. Um, I have on my, um, I think it's a, what is it called? I have a workbook basically that walks you through each of the pillars. And that is also going to be in that link that I'm gonna share with you guys if you want this printable. Um, so you can go in there and look at the workbook to figure out some ideas for different themed days. But I have it as a free day, I don't do anything there. Thursday for me is also a free day. Friday is my errand day. So anything that's outside the home, uh, if I can go do it during lunch, I like to go get it done. Saturday for me is primarily self-care day, although there are some weekend routines that I need to get done in order to be prepared for work. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit. Nope, I said zoom out. Yeah, although there are some things that I do on the weekend to make the work week feel easier, primarily that is my self-care day. That's the one thing that I really try to like check off my to-do list, um, whether it be on Saturday or Sunday, I strive for Saturday. But like today, I didn't get to do my self-care yesterday, so I'm gonna be doing my self-care on a Sunday, and that's okay. I just wanna check it off before the weekend's over. And then for Sunday, that is primarily family fun. And yesterday, we actually did our family fun yesterday. Um, so now this is actually moving down. So, but that's okay. What matters is did you think about it and plan it out? If it doesn't go according to plan, it's totally okay to be flexible with that. So now I'm going to go through a little bit of a brain dump and I'm going to assign um, different tasks that need to be done to different days. So I've already done my brain up in advance because I wanted to kind of boost the efficiency of this video. So this is the video plan that I'm going through right now. So I'm just gonna share what I have. So on planning day, I said Thanksgiving is coming up. So I have this um, checklist, Thanksgiving planning checklist that I've been going through. And my goal is just each week to do something to get ready for Thanksgiving. So one week I just printed off a list. That was my to-do list done. The next week I, ordered some, we're gonna be hosting at our house, so I ordered some like nice paper plates, napkins, um, cups, utensils, all disposable, so that's less cleaning that I have to do. Today, or not today, I actually started thinking about it this weekend in preparation for tomorrow, but I'm thinking about, okay, like what are we gonna wear? So I've been like trying to order shoes and pick out like what the kids are gonna wear. This is something that I never do because usually I don't think about Thanksgiving until the week before Thanksgiving and I'm overwhelmed. So I don't have time to think about it, but that's the beauty of starting early. Like if you've always felt like you wanted to see your holidays look better or be planned out better, the secret is to start way earlier than you think that you need to. And so this is actually gonna be the first year that I'm thinking about like coordinating outfits and stuff. So yesterday when I was just sitting down, I was just looking at like, okay, the kids need shoes because they don't really have a lot of dress shoes, especially with all the coronavirus stuff. We haven't been really going to a lot of places. So they've outgrown a lot of their stuff. So I need to buy that. And then I was looking at some dresses for the girls, but I realized that we might actually have some dresses that were gifted to us that, um, they can, might wear instead of me having to order one. So I wrote like a little note for my Thanksgiving plans. I'm gonna go check that. 
and um, also to see if I can coordinate something with the boys so that we don't have to buy anything besides the shoes, but I might. So anyway, that's all gonna go under Thanksgiving planning. I just like to spend a few minutes a week kind of thinking about what we're doing as we're getting closer to that, so. So yeah, if you feel like you want to kind of step it up, for, my, for me, my goal is to every year do a little bit better, then start early, start now, and do like simple stuff. Because no matter how many simple things you do early, for me, it never feels like it's enough when the holiday comes. I'm always grateful that I got a head start, but when it comes, it always never feels like it's enough. So just find some little easy things that you can incorporate into your week and make decisions. That's all this is about, okay? Also, I've been thinking about Christmas planning. If you guys are have not heard about it, I recommend that you kind of get into cruising through the holidays. That's something that they do over on the Fly Lady channel, and it literally just, the first year that I did it, it made my Christmas feel so much smoother and easier. Like at the end, there was still a lot to do, but it felt doable compared to all the other years when I kind of like let stuff build up. And so this is a great way. I think they have like a printable over there and you guys will probably see me talking about it if I continue to go through this series, but I already made my first step toward Christmas yesterday i went ahead and ordered our christmas pajamas last year was the first year that i've ever done like the whole christmas pajama thing and mainly it's because i always feel like it's really expensive like for all six of us but um what i did is i just ordered for the kids and what i noticed is if you start ordering christmas pajamas like in october the beginning of october like right now though christmas pajamas are actually quite affordable i got some stuff for like 10, 11, or $12 a pair. So the price changes depending on um, the size that you get. So for my kids, they were like 10, 11, or $12 each. And that's comparable to what I got last year. The only reason I bought those Christmas pajamas last year is because since Christmas <clears throat> was already on my radar, I went to Aldi's one day and I saw Christmas pajamas there and they were like $10. And I was like, I'm never, that's unheard of. And maybe, I don't know, I've been shopping at the wrong places all these years, but usually I see them for like 20 to $30 a person. And that's just a lot when you have four kids. But um, so anyway, I was very pleasantly surprised to see the prices in October. So I was just like, that's a still, I'm just gonna go ahead and order mine now. Because honestly, they're probably trying to get rid, rid of inventory from last year, or they're just not getting any sales this right now in this time of year because people are not thinking about it so people naturally just drop the prices when there's not a lot of demand so that's something that you're going to want to think about doing if that's something that you've always wanted to do is like the christmas pajamas and all that stuff get them early um next let's see on planning day okay so let's move into desk day so i do have quite a bit of things here that need to happen for desk day and we're still doing this on a monday um I need to pay bills. Usually I will use this space here to keep on track of bills. I'm actually doing it in a different planner, but I just like to write approximately the day that the bill is due and about how much. And then like if it's the first week of the month, I will go through and pay all the bills on the first week of the month. If it's the second week of the month, I will go through and pay all the bills on the second week of the month and so on and so on and so on until the month is complete because I don't, I don't know, I just don't like to sit there and pay all the bills at once. So I'd rather do it a little bit each week. Um, also, I need to put some Facebook meetings in to Facebook. The ladies who did my Peaceful Homekeeping Challenge, the paid version, they still keep in touch there. So I just like to keep the rooms open and available for them. So I have an automatic thing in my Google Calendar to remind me to do that every two weeks. Also, my husband is his annual work benefits window opens, so he needs to go pick out like all the benefits that we're going to be doing for next year. So I'm going to put a note there. Also, let's see. I talked about this a couple of videos ago, and I still haven't got this done, but I need to get some forms filled for my daughter. 
she has um, an appointment coming up soon. And you know how doctors are, they have all these forms that you want you to fill. Luckily, we're still a few weeks out. So I would really like to get ahead of that so that it doesn't annoy me. Okay, so this is looking kind of heavy right here on Monday. And I don't think it's realistic for me to work a full-time job and get all this stuff done. So we will come back to this and sort it out later. But let's continue. For errand day, I like to get gas. Honestly, <clears throat> that's not gonna happen there because I will probably have run out of gas before Friday because I didn't do it. So I'll probably get gas today because I do have to take my voice to a play date here in a little bit. So I'll just swing by and get gas. And I also need to pick up groceries here in another 15 minutes. So I need to hurry up. And, um, but maybe this will be a good time to refill. But I do just like to have it somewhere. And if I get it done early, I will just scratch it off and call it a day. Also, I would like to go to a store in person to look for a console table for this upstairs area. Like I can order one on Overstock or on Amazon and I might, but I just wanted to see if maybe if I went to a Hobby Lobby or a Home Goods, if I could see something that's like a good value and already built. That's the thing. I just don't want to build a new console table. So if they have one that's built, I would love to get it if I could find something that I actually like. Um, okay, and then for family fun day, oh wait, let's do self care day. Self care day, I'm gonna get these nails done today. Like, that is my goal. I've talked to my husband about it. I'm like, you gonna be watching the kids? You good, you good? These nails are getting done today. So for next week, I don't know what my self care activity is going to be. We're gonna leave that open and I need to make a decision by the end of the week. And then for family fun day, we're going to paint pumpkins next week. So I have the paint, but I do need to buy pumpkins. And so, yeah, I need to get those pumpkins ordered. So that's like the main plan. So the last step that I like to do, oh wait, I forgot to tell you about my weekend prep. So usually over the weekend, I do a couple of things to kind of just make life easier for me when work starts on the week, during the week. One of those things is I need to get my daughter's hair done. So I do girl's hair. And then the next thing is I need to make sure to order groceries. And it doesn't matter which day that gets done on. It can get done on Saturday, it can get done on Sunday, depending on how things are going. Another thing <clears throat> that I've been doing on Monday mornings is I've been cutting up fruit and making sandwiches for the week. So I'll wake up early on my day to do that. Sorry, my throat is getting dry. Oh, let's see if I can get through this video without me having to stop, so. So yeah. So yeah, and I'm not even gonna put that on here because it's just part of what I do. And um, yeah, I'll just wake up early on Monday to do that. So the last thing that I like to do is I like to ask myself, are there any supporting tasks that need to be taken care of on here? For example, I need to paint pumpkins, but we can't paint pumpkins. Okay, I'm not sure where this stopped recording. So <clears throat> yeah, I'm not sure where this stopped recording. So I'm just gonna just jump back in. Um, what I was saying was I like to look for supporting tasks. For example, I need to paint pumpkins here. I have paint, but I don't have pumpkins. So I need to make sure that that goes on my weekly plan somewhere. So I put it here next to order groceries that I need to order pumpkins. And then I'm just looking to see if there's anything that like I can't do unless I get supplies or do something ahead of time. And I can't really see anything here that needs supporting tasks. So I think I'm good there. The last thing that I like to do is ask myself, is this realistic? can I really get all this stuff done? Because you see here, I have like this space in the week where I have nothing there. So if there's a day that feels really heavy, I can always roll task over to another day. Another thing that I can do is if I see that things are really heavy, I can always move tasks over to the next week, especially if it's like non-urgent. So I'm just gonna take a moment to make decisions about that. Um, so Thanksgiving planning and Christmas planning. Honestly, I feel like for this week, 
this is almost done. So I think I can do both of those because I already ordered Christmas pajamas. Um, the main thing that I would want to, the main step that I would want to take toward Christmas planning would be to print the control journal from Fly Lady website. Print the holiday control journal. And that I can't imagine taking more than five minutes. And then for Thanksgiving, I just want to check to see if we have that dress that I have in mind for my daughters and make sure that it's their size. <laughs> because then that will inform kind of how I'm gonna do everything else. And I feel like those are like two five minute tasks. Pay bills, I just wanna make sure I keep up with that. That'll probably take like five minutes. Facebook meeting, that'll be about five minutes. Um, the work benefits and forms for my daughter. Now those two things I feel like can be moved over to anti-procrastination day so i'm going to do that so instead of having those tasks there i'm going to take them off and this is just some white out that i'm going to use to remove that so i'm going to move it move it down so I'm gonna remind my husband to sign up for his work benefits. So that's not even a task that I have to do. I just have to remind my husband to do it. And I'm going to do forms for my daughter. So there's no like real scientific approach to this. I know it feels realistic and I know what's gonna feel like it's gonna be like too challenging for me. And so I feel like that's something I could easily just knock out during a lunch break. Same thing here. And then for Aaron Day, I can run and check that console table during my lunch break. Honestly, I may or may not need to get gas, but I want to have it there. Grocery order and girl's hair. I know that that's realistic because I do this every weekend, so I know that I can get those two things done and that we can paint pumpkins. One thing that I want to add onto Family Fun Day is if we haven't already, I want to make sure that we have our costumes for Halloween. And also, don't forget, y'all, self, um, for self-care day, don't forget your date night. I don't know why I keep forgetting to put that on there. Me and my husband, it's just kind of understood. We do something together on the weekend. Last night, we got ice cream, um, but it can be whatever you want to do. It can be simple. Usually, our thing is margaritas and chicken, um, fried chicken, and chicken wings. I'm sorry. And But last night, we decided to do ice cream, but it can be whatever. Sometimes, we'll just have, like... Um, like wine and we'll watch a movie whatever just do something it doesn't have to be like a big deal um, unless you want it to be in which case you need to plan and um, but yeah I hope to get the costumes and all that stuff done this week weekend before we move into the next week and so yeah the last thing is we already talked about our cleaning goals over here so we're gonna take that information and just figure out which day is best for what so for me, I like to do obviously my dailies every day. So I don't need to write that again because I'm going to do it. It's understood. There's little check marks to help me remember. But I will want to take a moment to space out my weekly cleaning. So I just like to do one task a day. So it's not feeling too heavy. So I'm going to vacuum. I usually like to do horizontal and vertical together. Because they're very easy, short. I'm gonna do sheets and swish and swipe. So that way I don't have to do anything over the weekend, which I really don't wanna do. Um, and so now I'm gonna figure out which days I'm gonna use for zone cleaning. I'm gonna try to have three days. Usually it's a good idea to just stick with the same day every week. But since I can see that some days are more busy than others, I'm just gonna pick the days that are not like too busy so i'm probably gonna zone clean on wednesday because i don't really have any major to-do list items unless there's something that i can't do that will trickle down which happens sometimes during the week if things get dropped i just push it over to a new day so i'm gonna probably do my zone cleaning number one here i'm gonna do my zone cleaning number two here and then zone cleaning number three Definitely is not going to be on Monday. Monday's just got too much going on. 
Hmm. Tuesday? I just have to really, the only thing I have to do is do the forms, but my husband has to do those, do the benefits. I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna go for Tuesday because I know myself. If I have to zone clean on Friday, I will. But I would prefer not to because by Friday, I'm just done. I'm just done and I just wanna chill. So there you have it, people. That's my plan for the week. I already have my meal plan because I had to order groceries. So I already have my meal plan done and I need to go pick up the groceries right now. So um, yeah, I hope this was helpful and not too like confusing. Uh, yeah, so anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you made it to the end, Go ahead and drop a green heart in the comment section so that I know that you're a real one. No, I'm just checking. I saw that in another video and I was like, oh, that made me so happy. So I was like, I'm gonna try that on my channel. Drop a, a green heart in the description so that I know that you're one of my real ones. I would definitely love to see that. And um, if not, you know, that's okay too but make sure that you're subscribed if you are new and that you like this video because that's an awesome way to support the channel. Also, let me know what you guys think about this format. I'm really trying to create some more predictability on this channel and I really appreciate it, all the feedback that you guys have given me, letting me know <clears throat> what your favorite types of videos are. So I'm just gonna kind of lean into that, what you, the feedback that you guys have given me. So one thing that I was able to see from just my analytics is that the watch time on these planning videos are really good, which means that you guys are like watching them and hopefully they're helpful. So let me know if this format is a little better for you or if you guys like to see, you know, this beautiful face or whatever. Um, also, I feel like pre-recorded helps me get to the point a little bit, but let me know if you guys prefer pre-recorded so that the video is concise or if you like the live one so that we can interact. I would definitely like to get your feedback on that. So I feel like I gave you guys a lot of things to do. A green heart, a like, a subscribe, and feedback. Let me know what you thought about this video. All right, see you guys later. I gotta go get those groceries. Peace.